Dynamic, Dynamic entrance. entrance! Hi, I'm Ben. I'm complicated, but you can call me Phil. And this is Geek Corner. So, Final Fantasy XIII. When's it out? March. March when? 2010. So March. March. Yes. Okay. Um, it's platforms. Um, it's Xbox 360 and PS3, and it is very shiny. Video. Um, have a look. We'll keep talking on YouTube. Yes, you um, might be able to see the video now. We don't it's know. It's already been released in Japan. They're just finishing off the voice acting, I believe, for the English and American versions. Cool. Um, and oh my God, it's shiny. <laughs> um, so I think you'll like it then. Can anybody say HD? It, 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 it makes <laughs> nice try, but it makes it makes HD worthwhile. Um, it, the graphics are that good. Cool. Right. Project Needle Mouse. Project Needle Mouse, or for those of you who don't speak geek, is Sonic Four. Yep. There's a leaked video came out around the time we recorded this. If we can get it, you'll be seeing it right now. If not, just seeing us look awkward. Um, I think it's. Another game by the Sonic team, maybe it'll turn out nicely. We'll kind of see. Platform. Mm, yeah, it's, it's a platform game. Yeah, I was thinking more in terms of oh, which platform yeah. is coming well, out. I think it's 360 Wii and PS3. I think it's all of them is downloadable. It might even come nice. to PC. That would be kind of cool. But I think it's um, downloadable only. So I'm pretty sure you'd be able to emulate it on the PC. Mm. It's not actually that um, process. The maybe. important thing being. Maybe, maybe we can have some hope here because it might be a return to Sonic. Games. It might be fun, but I wouldn't replace any deaths. It's from what I heard, they've taken out the 3D aspects that have made the last few Sonic games. <laughs> Just kind of retcon them out of existence. Yeah, well. Cool. However, other classical platformer, although without all the horrible retcons, a few games that weren't too great, but Mario, Super Mario Galaxy 2. This year. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Did you play the first one? I did not play the first one. Well, but... I can admit to the fact that I played it when I should have been doing course work and I've played every star of that game and I still would like to play more. So it's coming out sometime this year, we don't have a date, but maybe you'll have seen some nice videos. It basically looks the same, but that's not a bad thing. It's essentially, it's the sequel. Yeah, but it's, I more, think it's got some of the old thing, stuff really. as well. More of the same thing. Yeah, but that sounds good. To it's me. what you want if you like the person, I guess. Yep. Yeah. I could I could go for a bit more Mario. Yes. Um should we talk about something a bit more gritty. Uh, uh New Vegas. New Vegas, Fallout. Don't know um, whether you did you play Fallout? I played every Fallout. Same. Oh wait, um, apart from the PS2 one, although I own a copy of that. That game's terrible, I think. But it's still on Xbox. I think it might be as well. It wasn't and we're getting sidetracked to Fallout yeah. Brotherhood of Steel. Don't play that game. If you ever see it, leave it. Walk away. However, it was done by Interplay, and this new one is kind of going back to the roots. It's the same team that were Black Eye. It might recapture some of the good years. In uh, no, it's no. Uh, Obsidian. Obsidian. Yeah. So it's going back to some good stuff. So we yeah. might see something nice. It could actually be really good. Fallout Three was good, and as very purist Fallout fan, I would say it had a few things it was lacking in. Generally, it was a good game. This could be a great game. Obsidian, expect a good plot, expect good characters. I would like uh, one thing Chris Avalon, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, original writer in the first game. Yep. He's in on it. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, I'd give you a date, but I don't know. There's previews going out, so sometime this year. Okay, um, 2010, mobile devices, lots of shiny things coming out. iPad. Prop, please. Gee, how did you get the new iPad so soon? Um, it's not actually very feature-rich. Ah, right. Well, but, it's not uh, out for another month. Yep, but... it's out relatively soon. Looks kind of like that, but imagine it was real. This is actually a scale model. I think it's about right. It's basically an upscaled uh, iPod Touch or iPhone. Uh, and is absolutely amazing. It fills a niche, I feel, that has not been filled adequately. Um, I think, should we talk about prices though? Prices? Okay. Um, it's starting at about 250 for the cheapest oh, one. Oh, yeah. yeah. $499. Don't have a price for over here yet. Um, what they unveiled? I... Ooh. Okay, so we'll <laughs> go with no. They may have um, by the time you're watching this. There's rumours. But um, then it goes up to have like 3G extra storage, stuff like that. 3G isn't coming out for another couple of months though. Yeah. 
Uh, in general, personally, I'm on the fence about it. It could be very cool. It could be uh, a bit meh. Well, the whole idea behind this is you have this. It fits really nicely into your bag. It fits into your giant oversized pocket if you're a wrapper. Um, no, these pockets aren't big enough. And essentially, you've got your iBook reader. Mm -hmm. You've got video. Uh -huh. You've got emails, internet connection, calendar. You can write on it, handwriting recognition. Um, I'm sorry, I'll be a bit more impressed. Sorry. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's... Um, in general, it's looked kind of interesting, but we'll have to see what happens. Whether it actually lives up to what they promised. All right, let me get. No, oh, you can get rid of that actually. <coughs> I think I broke it. Yeah. Well, whatever. We'll just get them set as a review model. Um, other things coming out: e-readers. Um, they got became quite popular. Amazon had their Kindle and their Kindle Two. But what's new with e-readers this year? Colour. I think we're going to get colour e-readers. Personally, Which, well, it helps because I like pop-up books. And <laughs> I mean, if they've just not been the same in black and white. Well, personally, I want to be able to view PDFs, but more importantly, I want a waterproof one. This sounds dumb. I want one that's waterproof and floats so I can read in the bath. No? That's... Am I crazy? I just want to be able to read in the bath. Just hold it up. Give it, give it. Water vapour gets all manky. Well, it's yeah. bar. Oh. <laughs> well, other than that, uh, mobile devices. We've also got phones in general. Stuff been yep. happening. Uh, first off, I'm going to geek out for a second. Uh, Nokia's main OS, Symbian, it's actually finally gone open source. Uh, if you care about that sort of thing, it's quite a big deal. If not, uh, ignore me. You can play with it as much as you like, really. Yep. Well, this is kind of a big deal because it means that now two of the major players in the market, Android and Symbian, are now open source. So Only uh, Windows Mobile 7, Windows 7 Mobile, I think it's called. Windows 7 Mobile. Let's talk about that, actually. It's actually kind of interesting. It's just being uh, unveiled in Spain, know, Spain, Madrid, huh? uh, later this month. Cool. Um, also, I read. Yeah, something like that. I think it was unveiled, or um, it's going to be shortly. Yes, and it's, well, it's it's a whole new sort of level of it, it, interesting, really. I mean, They're actually I, trying with this one. Well, yes, well, they actually went back to basics, started over from scratch. Well, that can't be that hard. Because, well, let's face it, their last uh, phone OSs were a little bit... Have you ever heard of them? I've heard of them in terms of when sworn about. Yeah. They're pretty now, bad. See... I am kind of interested though because this fo this is going to be coming out for a lot of different um, mobile makes or handsets. And handsets, and it's also going to be uh, available on a lot of different yeah, networks. We'll Thank you. Um, but that's not ex that new though. It's Android well, does that. Yes, but it means that it's actually going to be possibly used by a lot of people. Could happen. So I am intrigued to see how many times a phone blue screens in <laughs> a week, say. Um, I'm focusing on Android because I think the Google Nexus One phone that's just come out is pretty cool. The important thing being, a bit of hardware actually released by Google, that's a first. Other thing being, it's not primarily being sold through the networks. It's primarily a case of you go to Google and they'll sell you just the handset, sort out the network with your network. That's pretty unusual for a big player to do this. If you're a bit useless like me, it means you can have a phone without a network for a year or two. A glorified calculator. Yes, really, I guess. High five. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> um, other than that, I think mobile device pretty covered there. There's some cool yep. things coming up, so save up your pennies because, well, I want them all to spend on shiny things. So. Films. Films, yes. In 2010. Uh, what's coming out or, or interestingly in production? Well, Iron Man is due to be released soon. Probably Iron Man 2. I, well, Iron Man 2. In May-ish? Sounds about right, yeah. May? No UK date yet, but around, around there. Yeah, I, I'm, if you're watching the trailer now, I imagine you're currently trying to claw your eyes out. Not that um, bad. Well, uh, what, let's see, they've got a great cast, they've got Robert Downey Jr., they've got Gwyneth Paltrow, mm -hmm. and do they, you know, decide to... They've got a great superhero, Iron Man, it's What's amazing. wrong with that? No way, No, no, on. no, hang on. <laughs> Instead of using one of his nice, cool, interesting bad guys, let's use some of the second stringers, because they deserve screen time to... No, they don't! <laughs> is, is it Whiplash or Arc Glider? 
combine the two, apparently. Arc, arc, lash or whip yeah, light? we'll go with that. Uh, whip, whip light sounds cool. Um, <laughs> something like It's actually it's like Mr. Whippy. Um, <laughs> but, what the hell? Get out of my Iron Man! What well, are you doing? Moving on from Outrage, uh, part one, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Uh, which November? November okay. is, um, yeah, they, they've split the book into two because it's a really long book. I haven't read it. Um, essentially, uh, Harry decides to leave school and lives in a tent for a year. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much the plot. But normally gap years um, come after school, not in the middle of. There's a really, really big fight scene, which you won't get to the second movie, and... Uh, a lot of tent, really. Um, <laughs> so it's Harry Potter the Woodstock. Uh, it's it's, 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 it's not Harry Harry Bobo. Um, I, I'm being a bit harsh here, but okay. it, it, it should be quite enjoyable. The rest of the Harry I'll, Potter movies. Do you know if there are any trailers? Been, trailers? I haven't seen any yet. Okay, so you've but, just been looking at us. Um, We're still here. That's what Google's for. Yes, well, um, uh, what else are we talking about? Uh, we are going to be talking about films that are coming up, such uh, in production right now. For instance, uh, Spider-Man Reloaded. Spider-Man Reboot. Reboot? Well, Reboot. actually, it's not actually called that. It doesn't have a um, title. It's just, uh, it's, there was going to be Spider-Man 4, and, well, most of you will have seen Spider-Man 3 and will understand why there isn't now going to be a Spider-Man 4. I'm still intrigued as to what bad guys are going to appear. Um, I hope that they don't go for the Spider-Man 3 approach, right? Oh wait, we've still got half the film left, let's cram a few more in! Uh, it's, well, <laughs> I mean, they can't use Kingpin because he was in Daredevil. That was a different film company, so... It wasn't bad than that. Uh, that's true, but the, it's a different film company, so they can't actually use him in this one. Um, and obviously they're not going to be looking back towards all the ones they've killed. Um, well, they could be, it could be because it's a reboot. That's true. They can start from anyway. Well, um, anyway, that's, I think, production starting sometime this year. But it won't be out till about summer 2012, they predict. So, yeah, you're going to be waiting a while. But we just thought we'd get you a bit worked up and then just, you know, slap you down. With Ghost Rider 2. God. I can't believe that's... you actually liked Ghost Rider. It was so awful. It's, it's... it's why I put it in the list of things to talk about. I liked Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. <laughs> what does that say about me? Um... No, I don't think I can say that on this one. Sorry. Well, Ghost Rider 2, Nicolas Cage, Motorbikes and Hell. Is my head on fire? Sadly, only in CG. I really hate it that much. I wish I could have walked out, I just couldn't bring myself to do that. I think I was boxed in. Sh shall we move on to something we're actually excited about? Yes! Let's do that. How about Alice in Wonderland? Could be good. It's Tim Burton. What do you mean, could be good? Well, I don't know, I've not watched the trailers. You're probably seeing them right now and be excited by the visual imagery that I haven't seen. Have you seen my desktop wallpaper? No! Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> it, it's not Alice in Wonderland, it was before. Um, um, so looking good from uh, the, like, I've seen some stills. Cool. It's uh, Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter. Mm -hmm. uh, he looks quite damn good as the Mad Hatter. Um, Helena Bonham Carter, isn't it, as Red Queen? As Red Queen. Um, um, well, it's, it's a Tim Burton movie, but those two are mainstays for Tim Burton. Cool. Well, um, let's just give him a date. And uh, it's March. March 5th? Um, March 5th. And I would recommend going to see it. It's cool. going to be cool. Cool. Um, right, let's tie it up. What else have we got? Uh, Doctor Who. Yeah, it's not actually a film, but well, it doesn't fit anywhere else in this in the Geek Corner channel this week, so we thought let's put it in films. Um, Spring 2010. That's all we got. But I, I want to give this new Doctor a chance. A lot of people have been sort of slating him, saying, "Oh, how can he possibly?" I like to be brilliant. I think he actually be quite fun. I mean, I liked his first line. Now you see, everybody was claiming that he was trying a bit too hard to be sort of tenant in in. Uh, the new new earth new earth uh, end of time end of time yeah where, where was it end of time or was it one of the others I'm no not it sure. was end of time where am I getting new earth from I don't know so um, enough. but what I was what I, the, the vibe I was getting from him though was um, Hugh Grant in a lunatic asylum I was thinking more like David Tennant but before it got quite so broody but either way I, I was a bit worried at first because he was really young. I, I reckon it's fine. I don't know. But I mean, I, th I think I'm, I'm willing to give him the chance. Um, 
well, coming to you, Easter. And I think we'll wrap that segment of it up. Oof. Peace out. That's pretty much all for this week of Geek Corner. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, to See. the Napier Cave? Yes! Dynamic Exit! Ah! <laughs> 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 there is a window there! <laughs>